An investigation of a triple shooting in Fairfield. Investigators say a surveillance camera captured images of their suspect. He's identified as 25 year old Fairfield resident Trine Martinez. Police say they believe he killed one person and injured two others. KTV's Greg Liggins has the story. Daylight revealed some of the details of a Fairfield shooting that began before sunrise. Police say just after 5 a.m. they responded to a call of gunfire at the 7-Eleven on East Tabor Avenue. Upon arrival, officers found three victims of gunshot wounds. One of them pronounced dead on the scene, the body lying near the store's entrance behind the yellow tarp. You know, it's just sad. Evidence shows what happened at the store spilled out onto the street. Markers identify spots of clothing and other items, perhaps belonging to two more victims who were wounded and transported to hospitals. Placard 14 reveals what appears to be at least one of the shell casings found on the scene. Investigators spent much of the morning interviewing people who may have seen something. They also gathered bags of evidence, hoping to find clues that would answer whether this was a robbery gone wrong, an incident that sparked into violence, or something else entirely. For now, investigators aren't offering any information as to what may have triggered the violence that erupted here. A woman who says she lives nearby but declined to give her name told us it's an area prone to problems that need to be addressed. You know, but this is a bad area anyway. Is People are on drugs, you know, and they need to clean this area up. Bottom line. The deceased victim in this case is a 44-year-old man from Fairfield. The identities of the other two victims have not been released, but we are told they are 36 and 28-year-old men from Sassoon City, both hospitalized with life-threatening injuries. So far, police have not released a motive for the shooting. Greg Liggins, KTVU, Fox 2 News.